Okay, here we have the Traxxas conversion dragster. Um, prior to this one, we showed a assembler video. Uh, now this one is an assembled video, just to show you how everything looks mounted in, what goes where. It just gives you a better view of everything. Here we have the seven-inch wheelie bar. As we mentioned, this turnbuckle here is going to be the same part number as what you're going to use for your steering bell crank part numbers on the website. Here's the 30-inch screw in the spacers. Um, that case is um, basically your transmission, Traxxas Slash, Bandit, Rustler, all the same transmission case. This one's an energy. The energy ones only allow you to mount it like this. If you use a stock one, you'll have a, a little slightly different setup there, but you can also use the ladder bar with the stock one, not with a single-sided one. So there you have your 5.8 screw, spacer underneath there, um, bandit, bandit rear arms. Those are MIP axles. If you go with the Traxxas Nitro, um, I believe it's the Rustler or Stampede. I have to look with part numbers on the website. You don't have to trim them. Slipper clutch eliminator. Um, in this one here, which is your choice, we have the, um, the lock differential as well, all aluminum um, gearing inside there <clears throat> The shocks are going to be your Traxxas slash Front shocks or your Traxxas bandit rear shocks same part number same size uh, Shown here are our aluminum drag rims with the four bolt hub adapter, which you can see the screws in there that allows you to put 110 size pan car drag style foams on it these foams are about it, Two, a little more than two and three quarter tall. Uh, gone, gone, ra gone bananas, racing skins, he'll foam up any drag rims so you can get any height diameter that you want. Uh, so here you see the ESC. What we, what we use is a Tekken RS Pro Black one to three cell. Uh, motor in there is a Phantom Racing modified. We don't have the wires going under the shock tower as you, we mentioned in the other video. You can mount your receiver down below, your cap pack under there. Uh, we use a Tekken caps, 1,000 microfarad. Uh, you can even double it up. Um, that's plenty to what you need. Two-cell battery. This is a Phantom Racing Graphene Low Profile. Um, what we were talking about with the push-in connectors right there. Or you could use your standard plug-in style. I'm going to go ahead and move this on back. So there you see in an assembly. Oh, sorry for the shake there. Trying to move some things around so we could get a better view there. So standard servo. Let me just shift this for you. Standard servo size you could use. Shown here is a low profile standard. And there's that Traxxas uh, turnbuckle link. Again, part numbers on the website, which is going to be the same as the wheelie bar. Now, bell crank shown here. It's the hot racing. We have the bearing above and below it. Then we have the uh, no slop eliminator arm right there installed. Now, all your turnbuckles here, your turnbuckle itself are all identical. Here, you can have two short uh, rod ends. Here, you can have a long and a short. Same on both sides. This is shown with the uh, Delrin shock tower and uh, as we mentioned in the assembly video you can see about you have to flip your bulkhead around and you can see those three screw holes for the bulkhead right here right in here that's where you normally mount them on the Traxxas car uh, here you flip it around uh, shown on the suspension arms are the Fortec Nitro very short short arms or you can use the bandit um, the front bandit RPM arms four tech front shocks and then when we mentioned about those um, 30 millimeter um, M5 axle screws that allows you to mount Traxxas weld wheels or the stock Traxxas funny car um, hex wheels the plastic ones and from behind let's get a good video there there's the head of the of the bolt right there So there you have the assembly and the assembled version 
uh, what we did here, you're going to need um, a servo extension, which is right here. This way it reaches all the way back to your receiver. What we did was, um, because we wanted everything kind of blended in in black, you could use polycarbonate black paint and you could actually paint that servo wire to blend right in. That there is painted and it looks no different than if it was a black wire. And using polycarbonate paint, being it's a flexible paint, it doesn't crack off. Uh, in case you're wondering what this is, this is for the Tekken ESC. This is a Bluetooth module. This connects to your uh, smartphone and allows you to tune your ESC just by connecting via Bluetooth. So there you have it. Assembly video. Grab a body real quick here. This is the RJ Speed body. You're going to have to trim a little bit. You can cut anything off on it. We cut the last part of it off here because we wanted uh, it to not push into the wiring there. You can even cut the this whole rear section here. I mean, you can do a lot of different things if you want. Um, RJ Speed 30 inch. Um, there's other ones out there that, that are can be customized to fit. This one is designed exactly for the RJ Speed 24 inch. There you have it. Traxxas Dragster by RC Racing Innovations. Hope you enjoyed.